Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 5 of my Let's Play Amnesia The Dark Descent. In the last episode we we saw Mr. Face again and some strange dungeons and went through a hole and went to the kitchen and now we're in a cell with a candle and some buzzing annoying flies. Um, shh, 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 everyone, shh, be quiet, everyone, shh, if none of us makes any noise, he won't find us, shh, 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 he want I don't have twenty dollars okay he's gone Let's see here. Very quiet going this way. This is to the kitchen. Alright, came back this way. So area three. Storage is this way. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. Thank you, Alexander. Soon we'll be ready. Let there be enough time. What a creepy beast. Anyway, here is another letter. 4th of August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment, I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered that things can be done, but at a price. And what price is this? He escaped. Where is he now? go again to hiding with the little babies we are. <sighs> we broke the door.
Carry on. Carry on, Mr. Face. Carry on. He's gone. Let's see what his room master offers us. This beast in a cell. What was in here for you to hide, eh? Some uh, oil and a tinder box. Broke quite a bit of things in your room. Haven't you, Mr. Monster? So, area four storage. Nothing that's down there. It's in excellent condition. All right. Hello, everybody. Some oil and tinder boxes. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Much obliged. Very much obliged. Let me see here. Now, let me think. <sighs> Alright. So many of them things. And go out of oily oil. And let me guess, boy. Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hide here in the corner. He can't get me. I've got my potatoes. My potatoes will guard me. <laughs> All these poor people. No one deserves any of this treatment. No one deserves any of this treatment that they get. No, sirs. That dust is where he disappears. Now I have a means. I have the means to kitchen is this way. Oh, oh that scared me. Alright. I'm trying to find where the... Get out of my face. Where was... That padlock? Where were you at? Not in here. This is the wrong place to be. Is this you? Are you that padlock? Yep. Not a very good. Nice to say it.
a decidedly not good padlock. Hey, you! Stop! Don't come any closer! I just wanna leave! You can't go outside! It's too dangerous! I'm telling Gabriel! I doubt that very much. I wish I had a map of this place. It feels like I could get lost. You look like enemy. Excuse me. I um. I don't thank you very much, Mr. Monster, but I don't I don't think I'm particularly fond of you. So I'll hide behind this box, if you will. If you don't mind me. I think I'll hide behind this box for a while. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh dear. Where did he go, huh? Where did he go? Where could he have gone? Hmm. It is gone. He has disappeared. In the poof of the smoke. Is this your poof of smoke of disappearedness? Good. Good, I'm glad you got your poof of disappearedness. So you... It's very poor condition. Well, we can further, you say. We can do this. This is to the cistern, of course. Retrace our steps. Let us light our pathway, yes. Yes. This is where we need to go. Right here, light the path. Where did I come from? Over here? Keep going straight. The kitchen to the left there. Light my way. Okay, I think I know now. I know. Oh, I know. I know. Nice crackling of the fire. Shh, piggies. Guard me. Guard me, piggies. We don't want anything that you have to offer. What you're selling, we don't want any. Oh. Oh. Oh, hello, beautiful. Okay. He's going on his way. He's leaving goodbye. Goodbye very much. Goodbye. I've got some acid. And I can leave if he would go away. 
If you go away, I can go on my way, merry way. To get out of the hellhole that is this place. Can I leave? Yes, I can. Thank you. I want to leave. Goodbye. Thank you. He poofed. He done did the poof. He poof. Poofed right there. Goodbye. He poof. He done did the poof. Done did that there poof. Poof 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 poof. He did that there poof. poof. Hungry? That's nice. What the fuck? Goodbye. The hell was that even? The hell was that glitchiness of the door? So, you used the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring, and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. That doesn't sound, that doesn't sound like a fun guy. <laughs> Alcohol. Um, yeah, worse stairs, wasn't there? Okay, okay. Broken stairs, broken dream. What are you? Are you the poisonous? Cough, cough. Oh, um, it's too deep. Too deep, it says. That's too deep of water. I hardly remember anything. This is where it starts getting blurry. But, but I want to budge. I want. I want to budge. I want to budge. Oh. Of course. Of course. All purpose. Yes, of course. Uh, now, see here, Mr. Pepe. Could I damage you further with the hammer and chipper? Could I? No. no. Up. Oh. One final push. Push. Boom. Yay. Yay. I am the smart nurse. <sighs> These need to come down. So it gets you any of those. So. There's one and two. That one come down? No. Uh, let's see. Flip a drink. Oh. That bridge won't come down. This one will.
Let's see if I can actually get that one down. Oh. Yeah, let's see. Sounds wet in here. Hello, glowing, eerily glowing pipe. I see you're rather important. Okay. Let's see. Let me light this one up. Stuck in its position. Stuck in its position. But why y'all stuck? Be that way. Bye. I'm gonna find the chair. Go, 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 ghost. Oh, oh. Oh, what's that? Middle one is the highest. It's like it's raining. That's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like rain. Another peep it. That gummit. Pipe. Try the pipe. Okay. Middle one is the highest it can go. Well, maybe it's quite not that high. Okay. Second highest is the one on the right. So near the pipe, closer to the pipes, it is. Okay, I get it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then. I am the brilliant one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there you are. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. 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 Hello, wooden crank. How are you today? Are you cranky? <laughs> uh, I'll go. Alright. Let's see here. Up, up, down, down. Brilliant. Another pipe. And then up. Read it, shall we? January uh, 13th, January 1799. The work I put into this machine is unequal by the reasoning of any man. The thought that generations of men have passed away since I first attempted to reconstruct the design is most tiring. The limitations of this world have made my work incredibly difficult. It has forced me to build the thing almost a hundred times larger than the delicate contraption it tries to emulate. Not to mention the flow of tamed lightning crudely replaced by pressured steam pushing its way through pipes and turbines. It shames me to think of what the inventor would have thought of my monster, where he works with a magnifying glass to carefully fix all the parts. I push five men to erect a tower of wrought iron in the hope that it will have even the tiniest hint of the power found in a traveler's locket. Taking this part. 
Are there any more secrets? No. Down, up, up, down. 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 Down, up, 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 down. 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 Let down. Let down. Up. Up. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. I am trying to be smart. Trying to be smart. Keyword is trying. Oh. Well, that would have helped a whole lot. Getting there, you pips. You pips. Alright. Hmm. Out of my way. My way out of it. Anything of interest in here for me? Hmm? Okay. Give me the pipe. Hmm. Let's see here. If I could just maybe. Oh! I did that by accident. Apparently, I did it right. Okay. Mm hmm. Sure. Gosh, that scared me. Damn it. Okay. Cranky do. Thank you, thank you. Okay. I'm the worst. Who can serve water from the spring? Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like for drinking? It well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mills. Exactly. Interesting. Here we go. Ow. That hurt a whole lot. Alrighty then. Excuse me? What a strange contraption. Oh 
no. Oh, oh. You get out of here. Redirect sewer water. 7th of August, 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by Da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenburg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Interesting. Come in, did I mess it up? There we go. Vaguely remember this. There is a whoa. Hello. Well, hello there. Okay. Let me cross. I wonder why. <laughs> it's not like it's got a big giant rock slide on top of it or anything. Another note. 8th of August, 1839. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue fiery light and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying, but Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. Very bad feeling.
Ow, 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 ow. 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 That hurt. Real bad. Okay. There is one right here. What do you do? Oh. Turn off the steam, you do. Okay, last letter in here. 9th of August, 1839. It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. I hear that there, water monster. I don't like it. Alright. Alright, this is where I'll end it. Thank you everyone for watching part 5 of Amnesia The Dark Descent. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.